Okay. Well, there we are. Another one uh, to do for you, friends. Stock South here. Got a call the other day from, uh, uh, or ran into, I guess, by by way of the internet with an old friend, uh, Dave, uh, who I've known, gosh, ever since uh, grade school days. I'd say fifth, sixth grade. <laughs> there he was. He's, uh, and of course, we all went through high school together, parted company, you know, and uh, college and grown up life, but still ran into him here and there, and always and always enjoyed, uh, you know, always enjoyed his friendship. He was a very good person, uh, very popular in school. I mean, yeah, really, and uh, did <laughs> and deservedly so. He was uh, he was on all the teams, and uh, you know, he good student, I guess, probably student. I, I, I'm be amazed if he wasn't student council president. Uh, I'm pretty sure he was <laughs> at one time. And, uh, you know, like that. Uh, smart, pleasant, good guy. And I was just thinking the other day, uh, I've, I owe him a phone call. And, uh, and well, I, I, I'll, I'll be getting to him pretty soon. But the thing is, is that he, um, uh, well, he was always good to me. And I was trying to think of how how I, uh, you know, how we've kind of first met. What were some of the early days like back in grade school? Uh, and I, I just realized, um, Dave, well, he and uh, he and a few friends, uh, I think Dave, Eric, Joe, Steve, they, one day, they, it, I don't know, it just sort of came out of the blue. They must have been practicing after school, uh, maybe at each other's homes, uh, but they uh, they formed a little group. I remember that, yes, and they called themselves the DJs. Now, the spelling can get you a little confused, but I think it was D-E-J apostrophe S, DJs, okay, or, yeah, or D-E hyphen J apostrophe s i it, but it came out dj's um and they uh they actually uh, they wowed the uh i'd say seventh and eighth grade classes with their uh with their musical expertise yeah they actually weren't too bad now that i think about it uh they uh they had a few songs uh, in the school that were you know top of the charts uh no they never uh i don't think they ever pressed a record not that i know of um they could have yeah, though they really weren't that bad for, especially for young kids. Yeah, you know, what what are you when you're in eighth grade? You're something like thirteen or so, fourteen maybe. Yeah, so they were they were all right. Uh, this is one of their. This is one of the songs they uh, they played. They uh, they took uh, a neat little song by uh, the Shields. Now I can only play a little of it because I don't. Well, only a few seconds worth. But this was one of their songs, and frankly, they did it very well. Here. Huh? Yeah. Just like that, too. Yes. You cheated. Yeah, that's the one. That's the song, The Shields. You cheated, you lied. Uh, they didn't do any of the falsetto. I, I guess, and, and yet, gee, when you're young, of course, if your voice cracks when you're trying to do that, yeah, it would be embarrassing up on stage. But still, they didn't do bad. I can still see Steve. I think he was the drummer, and uh, he 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 did a, a lot of the singing. He was actually he was pretty good at it, and he was pounding on a tom tom. He had one kind of tied to his side there. That was the the beat. That's where they got the beat. Uh, Eric and Joe, I don't think they were singing. Not, I, I don't recall. Dave, I think, was doing sort of the backup harmonies on the song. And it, frankly, it, it came out pretty good. I know the girls were impressed. They were in their poodle skirts dancing at the gym. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> I got to thinking, man, this music stuff's all right. Look at all these girls. Yeah, whoa. And, and then what was another one? Oh, gosh, they did one that... Um, uh, the uh, Buddy Holly, of course, made famous before he passed away. This one, again, a relatively uh, simple song for uh, for guys starting out. Peggy Sue, and they sang this great. If you knew Peggy Sue, then you know why I now now they they didn't do it. I've got it. Yeah, again, they they uh, I think they sang it all four of them. 
singing the song. But it came out great. No, there's not. I don't think there was one person taking the lead. Forgive me if I'm wrong, Dave, but I think that's the case. And uh, wait, we even had a friend in the uh, school who uh, was uh, somewhat of an announcer type. I think his name was Barry, and he would introduce them, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the yeah, there's the DJs. You know, they they uh, yeah, and he did a very actually did a very good job of it. I often wonder what happened to Barry. Uh, well, I hope he didn't become a DJ. <laughs> that's that's a rough business. <laughs> In any case, uh, although he could have, he was very good. He had a good voice, a uh, great voice for it. I may, uh, yeah. The um, and of course, I'd be standing there. You know, uh, all the girls would be uh, kind of like kneeling and uh, swaying back and forth and clapping their hands, and I'd be back there in the. Uh, behind everybody just watching it saying, oh, cool. And uh, that year, that particular year, I think it might have been seventh grade, I took up the saxophone. <laughs> and uh, oh, my God, I'll tell you one thing. Saxophones ain't so easy to play. Uh, all those dials and buttons and stuff. And they, you got to get to you got to know how to work the reed just right. And evidently, your voice uh, plays a little bit through a saxophone. No one told me that. Um, but uh, I remember the DJs came to me one day in the hallway. They saw me carrying my saxophone case. Hey, Doc. Um, guess, yeah. And I said, uh, yeah. They said, hey, uh, you got that sax? Can you play that thing, any? I said, well, I'm, I'm working on it. I said, yeah, I just started, you know, two or three. Uh, you know, you guys know it. when school started, I got one. And um, yeah, well, they said, heck. Uh, do you think uh, <laughs> they said, well, you've got, what, three or four months? How about this? Do you think evidently guitars must be very easy to pick up on? These guys played guitars. Steve pounded on drums. OK, one drum, <laughs> as I recall, and probably all he could afford. And the um, but <laughs> they said, listen, do you think you can do? Uh, can you sound like this? Could you maybe work on it, and we'll have you do one of our songs? It's by Johnny and the Johnny and the Hurricanes. What do you think? Here, I said, I said, man, guys, I don't know. I'll, I'll work on it. Give me a week or two. Uh, and oh my God, my poor parents back at home. I was up in uh, my bedroom. My father's, he's going out of his mind. He's all the way. <laughs> he's in the backyard and he can hear me. He said, my God, he says, will you cut that out? God, my ears. Uh, it's, and long story short, it never worked out. <laughs> I guess. Although I did take the song as, uh, for the longest time, it was my theme song on various radio shows I do, Red River Rock. Oh, my gosh. Song still makes me a little, why couldn't I have learned it? Yeah, I, I gave it a week, you know. Uh, and I imagine in saxophone uh, uh, realm, it's it's probably not that hard a song to do. You just got to be able to dance around a little bit as you're playing that thing and, you know saxophone up in the air yeah all that stuff but yeah well it didn't work out i i i let, long story short i flunked the audition uh, so i think they got some kid with a clarinet <laughs> no i i think they just we'll, we'll do it by guitar evidently eric was very good on guitar dave i think rhythm guitar if i recall right no i don't think they had well maybe joe played bass joe was good too he was a good guitar player and fiddle player yes Okay. Well, anyway, so I thought that's uh, that's one of my neat experiences with Dave. He was always uh, always a very good person to me, and uh, I got to give him a call. Doggone it. Well, anyway, I'll send this out to him. Maybe he'll like it. Uh, so anyway, there you go, friends. Uh, the, no, the DJs kind of disbanded in high school. They went their separate ways. Uh, uh, Dave got into uh, school politics <laughs> and sports. Uh, Eric, I, I think he just stayed in the band room and played guitar. Joe uh, realized there were girls in the world, yes. And uh, Steve, uh, sports. Yeah, he really dug sports. And I uh, was uh, actually pretty good at it. Eventually went off to the Air Force and I think played on the, one of the teams uh, at his base. And evidently did rather well.
good guy. They're all good guys. They really were. Poor Joe passed away. Uh, oh, he was in an awful car wreck. And uh, he and uh, most of his family were killed, uh, sadly. Oh, right about when he would have been in his mid-20s. It was very sad. Uh, but other than that, they were all good people. And uh, I'm kind of proud to have known them all. Uh, good, good guys. Okay. Well, here you go, friends. I guess that's a wrap for now. We'll catch you later. And uh, bye-bye.